Hey everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, we're going to do a review of the Kobo Clara 2E. So, uh, this is Kobo's latest six inch ebook reader. Uh, the design is pretty much a copy of the Clara HD that came before it. Uh, they did change the bottom here, they moved the power button to the back. You got USB C now instead of micro USB. Uh, it's got the indented screen. Uh, on the back, they got this new blue color and a little bit more of a texture to it than the Clara HD had. Uh, the power button works better up there. You don't accidentally press it. I do like that change. Uh, the screen looks great. They got a new uh, Carta 1200 screen on here, so the contrast is a little bit better. Texture is a little bit darker than it was on the Clara HD. Uh, kind of helps it stand out a bit more. So screen's nice. Uh, it's also got the front light with adjustable color temperature. We'll talk about that a little bit more here shortly. Um, so, you know, it's got a one gigahertz processor. I already uploaded a video comparing this to the Clary HD. Speed's exactly the same as it was before. Nothing's improved in that regard. Uh, most of the improvements came under the hood with this model. It's got 16 gigabytes of storage space, uh, dual band Wi-Fi support. Uh, they added waterproofing to this model. So uh, you got that now as well. And of course, I mentioned the USB-C. So this is kind of a look at their interface, their home page, and then their library page. The library page can be viewed as a list. Uh, as it is now or you got the cover view where you can just see the covers um, and then you've got these different like sorting options up here you can just like view by author or series uh, you can set up collections uh, as well you can use a device or you can use third-party software caliber can help you set up collections as well so let's go back to the regular list view i kind of like that better uh, and then you got the scroll bar on the right side you can use the arrows as well to go one page at a time you can kind of jump around quickly using the scroll bar uh, the Discover tab, that takes you to the Kobo ebook store. So uh, you got the ebook store built in on here. And one thing they changed with the uh, Clara 2E is they added audiobook support. So it's got Bluetooth. Uh, you can connect Bluetooth speakers or headphones to stream audiobooks. Now, it's only going to work with Kobo's audiobooks. Um, I mean, they do have a side-loaded player, but it doesn't really work all that great. Um, but uh, So some of the other features in here with the, like the beta features, you do have a basic web browser. There's the large print mode if you need to increase the uh, interface text size. Uh, and then you got some additional settings in here as well. You got overdrive support for library ebooks. Uh, and you got some different reading settings you can figure. So Kobo sells these devices in many countries. So they got a wide uh, support for languages here. There's all the different languages the interface supports on this device. So uh, let's go ahead and open up an ebook here. Um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, front light now. So on the top menu here, you can adjust the front light by tapping this little light icon here. So uh, nothing has really changed with the front light on this model. It does have the warm and cool color temperatures. Uh, you can set it to automatically go based on the time of the day if you wanted to sort of get a softer color at night. They kind of explain uh, their um, light setup in here. Uh, as you'll notice, every once in a while I touch the screen, it doesn't respond. It's just kind of somewhat normal for Kobo, but... Uh, for the most part, it does work well. You can also adjust the front light brightness by swiping up and down the left side of the screen there. So uh, here's a quick look at just some of the different light settings on the device. Um, so overall, the front light is quite good. It's quite even. There is a little bit of a shadowy cone area at the lower part of the screen, which is kind of common on these sort of 6-inch e-readers. It's not quite as even as it is like on the Kobo Libra 2 or like the Kindle Paperwhite 5, but I mean, I don't have any problem with it. Uh, the orange color, you probably notice it less. Uh, it's a little bit more even, it seems like. So you kind of can blend the two colors just to get a little bit more of a softer tone if you don't like this orange color. Me, personally, I don't care for the orange, but I always like to add just a little bit of the orange color so it sort of softens up the color of the screen here. So, I mean, either way, it's nice to have the option to set the front light color how you like it. So, I mean, that is the uh, definitely a plus with the Comfort Light Pro. So, I mean, the last Kobo HD had that as well. So, really no change there. The front light's pretty much exactly the same as the Clara HD. Um, another thing they added with the 2E model here is the official support for dark mode. Uh, I'll show that here in a second. You also got the ability to, some of these other settings in here, you got the ability to uh, set the page refresh frequency, whatever you want. And then you got the header and footer. You can set those up as well to show like time remaining in the book or the time remaining in the chapter. Or you can remove them entirely. So you got the header and footer uh, being able to be disabled. And then you got the new dark mode. So you get the white text on a black background. And it works a lot better than the hack used to work. So I used to be able to hack this on like the Clary HD. But like now that's an officially supported feature, it works quite well. Because like the interface and like the dictionary, all that stuff, it's still normal mode. Like when you had to use the hack, it inverted everything, including images and the interface. Uh, what could be a little bit harder to read at times, but uh, now it just interverts the text quite nice. So the last software update from Kobo, they added the ability to swipe down from the top to access your three most openly 
your three recently read titles, and so you can just jump around between your different books that way. Um, so, so some other stuff up here we can talk about, like you have your font adjustment menu. Um, so one thing it takes, there's a noticeable delay when hitting the font face for some reason that seems to be a bug in the software, but uh, it does pop up here. For some reason, they removed a few font choices from this list that used to be on there with other Kobos like um, Malabar's font I used to use for some reason, it's not on there anymore. I hope it comes back because I don't see any reason why they removed these font types, but they did add a couple of new font types with the last software update, the Rakuten Serif and the Rakuten Sans. One of the recent software updates also added the ability to use pinch zooming or a pinch gesture to adjust the text size. I still feel like it's a little bit wonky because the little glass that comes up, sometimes it goes to a blank part of the page. You can't see what you're adjusting, um, but it does work pretty well. You can turn that off in reading settings as well. You got some additional settings up here um, from the top menu bar as well. You got this like a uh, little reading progress indicator that'll tell you how much uh, time you got left in the chapter and in the book. Uh, of course, you got some more additional, you know, layout settings with line spacing, margins, justification. So you've got a lot of uh, leeway on how you want to set up your books and how they look. Uh, font sizes, there's like 48 of them or something like that. There's a whole bunch of font sizes, lots of line spacing and margin settings. So you can get everything customized, the look and feel, how you like it. So you've got all the usual features. You know, you can add notes, you can add highlights, look up words in the dictionary, run searches. Um, so, you know, all the usual stuff that's on most of these ebook reading devices that hasn't changed with the 2E at all. Um, you can just tap on there to delete your annotation if you would like. So you got all those features. And then if you wanted to access your uh, annotations list, there's this little icon at the bottom of the screen right here. If I hadn't deleted that, it would have shown up right here. You can also quickly jump over to the table of contents list from that page. Um, jump around the different parts of the book. There's also these arrows on the bottom of the little navigation bar down here where you can use these little arrows to jump between chapters and it brings up this like preview with these window where you can jump to the different parts of the book, uh, different chapters, and then you can go back by hitting the little back thing right there. It's kind of similar to Kindles, remarkably similar. Actually, Amazon recently updated the Kindles and they have a very similar um, set up to that. Um, so, you know, you got the dictionary. You can also, if you want to run searches, you can enter a specific search term. You can search in the book, Wikipedia and Google. You can jump around to your book running searches this way. So this does work quite well. I mean, you can just use these little arrows to go around to the different search results, close out this window and there you have it. So, you know, you got all the usual ebook features. Uh, nothing has really changed in as far as the reading experience goes on the Kobo Clara 2e. It's pretty much the exact same as the Kobo HD that came before it. Um, they have added some new features with the new software, like I said, uh, but those are features are available on the other Kobo devices as well. The pinch zooming, um, dark mode, stuff like that. So like I said, you can jump around to the different, uh, your recently opened books from that new uh, little quick access option they have sliding down from the top. So in addition to eBooks, you can read manga, comics, you know, there's some other types of formats supported as well, other types of content on these devices. Six inch screen, somewhat limiting. So I mean, probably mostly gonna wanna be using as an eBook reader, you might wanna get a larger device if you're gonna be reading comics and whatnot. But I mean, as far as performance goes, it's the same as the last Kobo. So it's, it's adequate, it's not like super fast, it's not slow by any means. Um, but you know, you can come in here, scroll around different types of images and stuff like that. So fairly responsive overall I don't really have any issue with the speed some people are disappointed that they don't upgrade the processor but they upgraded the processor on the Kobo Sage and now it gets terrible battery life so you got to kind of you know take the good with the bad and the battery life on this device is going to be really good uh, more basic than you know the Sage with the writing abilities uh, you also have the ability to uh, you know get web articles on here using pockets feature I never use personally but you do have that option um, like I said, you got some of the other features with the overdrive support built in to get library books easily. It works quite well. I actually have library books on here without being signed in because I have other Kobo. You might notice that some of those are library books. But if you have other Kobos with your library already signed in, then you don't have to sign on to this one because it'll automatically sync to this. Funny thing is when I send a library book to my Kindle, it'll also show up on my Kobo because it's the same, you know, library account. It's kind of interesting how that works. Uh, but anyway, um, so, you know, one thing I also showed in the comparison review with the Clara HD, they did change the dimensions of the Clara 2E just enough that it won't fit in Clara HD covers. It's like two millimeters wide. Can't get it to fit in that cover unless I like really jammed it. So, I mean, overall, it's a decent upgrade. You got more storage space. You got waterproofing now. Uh, the screen is a little bit better with the Carta 1200 screen, a little bit darker text. Uh, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty much just like a rehash of the Clara HD uh, it has the same design, has the same features, 
uh, same reading features. Uh, but you do get the dual band Wi-Fi support. You get dark mode support, you know, more storage space, uh, waterproofing. So it does have some upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Check out the ebookreader.com for the full review. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.